Well, this morning, we've woken up to a winter wonderland, and it's beautiful. Although the snow may be pretty to look at, for the garden wildlife, it's another matter, which is why we need to keep our bird feeders topped up and prevent water supplies from freezing over. We have all sorts of birds visiting our garden, and to keep them happy, we've been feeding them sunflower hearts. But whilst it's great to see the results, spring is round the corner, and the birds will soon be looking for homes to build their nests. And that's why today we're going to build ourselves a birdhouse. I start with a length of gravel board or pine, roughly measuring 15 centimetres by 120 centimetres. I then make measurements on the one board for all sections of my bird box. With the measurements drawn, I then cut the board into individual sections. Then comes the fun part. Taking the base, I pin the side and back panels together. With them firmly in place, I then go about making the hole in my box. Now, depending on what birds visit your garden, the hole size may vary. Here, I'm making boxes for both the sparrows and great tits. So the sparrow box will need a hole of 3.5 centimeters whilst the great tit will require a smaller hole of 2.5 centimetres. Finally, attach the roof to the back panel with either masking tape, flashing strip, or a small hinge like the one I'm using. So there we go, two bird boxes, one for the sparrows and one for the blue tits. Now all I need to do is hang them and wait for my new tenants to arrive. And if you didn't know, then February the 14th to the 21st is National Nest Box Week. Since its launch back in 1997, the organisation has grown to become one of the most recognised awareness campaigns in the diary. And their message is simple. Give a bird a home. For more information or detailed instructions on how to build your own bird box, go to nestboxweek.com. Two days after making this film, this happened. National Nest Box Week, February the 14th to the 21st.